Welcome back, Goldman. This is Tracy Johnson with Mary Walbert Real Estate, and today I have the privilege of talking to Maria Stanford with the Coleman Regional Medical Center um, Foundation, and we are going to be talking about lots of love. Yes. And thank you so much for visiting with me this afternoon. I'm Absolutely. I'm looking forward to hearing about this. I love yes. lots. Love yes. lots of Christmas time, and the air is finally turning off cold, so it's ready. Yes. Time for Christmas. It's here. It is. So, Coleman Regional Foundation, Dr. Enzer is the founder of the foundation. Um, he started the foundation back in 1977 and started this event. Uh, this is the 28th year for Lights of Love. And so a lot of people know it in the community. We um, years ago named it after Dr. Enzer, his beloved physician, um, OBGYN here in the community that treated a lot of women and a lot of patients over the years. And he um, believed in Lights of Love and wanted to have a tree lighting ceremony, but at the same time, he wanted to give an opportunity to remember and honor people mm -hmm. who maybe had passed away, or if there was somebody special in somebody's family, that he wanted to give them a chance to be recognized. Mm -hmm. And so what, what has happened over the years, Lights of Love has morphed into a special program, a reverent program, where we come together, and we're going to do that on December 5th, at Coleman Regional in PLB2 in the Community Education Center in um, Colonel Coleman Room. We'll come together for a program that will last about 30, 45 minutes, and we'll have several people um, playing or singing Christmas music, and we'll have a special PowerPoint presentation scrolling with all the names um, that people have paid tribute to. And so, for example, if you wanted to buy a light in memory of someone, um, you could do that for a gift of twenty dollars okay. or more. Um, we would accept your gift and then send an acknowledgement card that you've made a special tribute in memory or in honor of someone. So then that person is notified. They're also invited to come to the event, okay. and you're invited to come to the event. I mean, it's open to anyone in the community, and um, we're doing it this year. The program is being dedicated in memory of Miss Amy Dre. Okay. So each year we look at someone that has been influential in our community, that has given back. And uh, last year, Dr. Bob Eccles, he had passed away shortly before Lights of Love, and he was honored. And then this year, um, it's Miss Amy Dre. Okay. So um, that's right. going to happen on December 5th at 5.30, and anybody's welcome to come. What we do is we have that program, but then we go outside in front of the hospital and we sing Silent Night. And then all the lights, um, are, all the lights are lit, and it's just a beautiful um, opportunity to come together, share that special time together, and then all the lights you can see it from the Christmas tree on top of the hospital from all over the community. So yeah. just a special way to get together and kind of kick off the holiday season. Definitely, definitely. I actually got goosebumps listening to you talk yeah. about it because I mean, just what what a great tribute and love and memory and just being able to see all the lights and bringing the community together yes. for such an important cause because I know the money is actually going to um, to take care of an ambulance. We were talking yes. about that just a few minutes ago. So why don't you tell me a little bit more about how the money is used right here in sure. our community. So any money that we raise from this event will go back to help with the purchase of an ambulance. And the ambulance, um, the, the cost for one is around 150000 Wow. So we have had a few events to help raise money towards mm -hmm. the purchase of a new ambulance. And it goes to help benefit Coleman Emergency Medical Services, the Ambulance mm -hmm. Services Division of the hospital. Some people know it as CEMS. Mm -hmm. And the ambulances transport around 10,000 patients a year, and they make calls to over 15,000 patients a year. So uh, they're extremely busy in our community. Mm -hmm. I think they have 852 miles of roads to cover. Mm -hmm. And right now we have 10 active ambulances and crew members that are out treating patients in our community. We have around 80,000 that we service and then mm -hmm. the surrounding areas. There's over 26 miles of interstate um, that they cover as well. So you can imagine yeah. the staff, they're extremely busy mm -hmm. taking care of patients. And our goal is, as the foundation board and the foundation's efforts to advance healthcare excellence in our community and our hospital, this is one opportunity that they can help make a difference in the way of 
to help them purchase right. an ambulance. Right. So really, any community member that gives the Lights of Love this year will be helping with that project. Mm -hmm. So it's more community effort and community-wide. Mm -hmm. So yes, they're getting an opportunity to honor or recognize or remember someone special, but they're also having the opportunity to make a difference in our community and give right. back for right. a special purpose. And our community is, I mean, one, it's so diversified and it's just, it's growing so much. And, and even without the growth that we're experiencing, really truly Coleman is just a very big area when you think about all the way out to the lake area and then all the way over to the shrine down at center hill and all of that area and, um so i know if an ambulance is out in one area and then yeah. they're trying to cover another area you know that's a pretty big distance and you don't really think about how long especially if you're on some of those back roads out at the lake out on yes. you know, some of the country roads just how long it can take to get from point A to point B right. just within our county. Um, so, and then of course, like you said, the interstate and Highway 278 and 157, and we've just got so many people that are traveling through our county on a daily, daily basis. So, um, but yes, if you call 911 and you need emergency medical help, the whole goal is to make sure that we outfit this ambulance um, to put on the road so it would be there in case of an emergency. Right. So it really could potentially help anybody that needs access to quick health care mm -hmm. and uh, attention immediately. So we are, of course, asking the community to consider helping give back. Mm -hmm. And this is a special holiday time. Um, it is a tax write-off as well, a tax okay. deductible um, donation. And we document and send out documentation for people's records. And it's a year-end gift. Some people, Tracy, even do a Christmas gift. Instead of doing an actual gift, right. they do a light in somebody's honor. So we have that happen every year as well. What a great so. tribute, because there's so many. I mean, I, I love my dad. Daddy, love daddy. He doesn't need anything. Yes. You know, it's like, okay, what, what am I gonna buy daddy for Christmas this year, or for a birthday or something? So what a you great might, yeah. way to honor him yeah. and love in memory of a, a, a family or a friend. Um, just a great tribute. Yeah. So, and I also know I love this about our community, the critical care unit part of things, the, yes. the access that I know we're what, one of seven? Yes, one um, of seven ambulance services in the, the state that have critical care transport. That's amazing. You know, we, and people ask me on a daily basis, why is Coleman growing so much? What's so special about Coleman? Well, Coleman's an awesome place. Mm -hmm. I mean, not only is it an awesome place and just the beauty of it, and the surrounding area and the lake and and then you've got just so many different things but then you take into the hospital and all of our medical facilities and the fact that our ambulance service has that critical care unit or um, our education system and the people that are here in our community and, and the events and the restaurants and the shops you know we're just we are so blessed right here in Coleman and in this community to have so many wonderful talented beautiful you know great resources so thank you so much for yes. coming out this afternoon and talking to sure. me I look forward to seeing all the lights at the hospital and such a beautiful tribute thank so, you Thanks, Coleman, for visiting with us. Definitely want to check out the Lights of Love on December 5th. That will be happening in the Colonel Coleman room up at the hospital. Or you can contact Maria Stanford with the Coleman Regional Medical Center Foundation. Thank you and have a great day.